Journey in Color, The Horizons of the Bahamas. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much for being here. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to flipping through the book a little bit, looking mm -hmm. at some of your photos. Talk to me about this book and what am I looking at in here? Well, this basically is a combination of some of my favorite photos. Some I've taken basically of the horizons of the Bahamas. And um, what, I've what I've taken, and I've, I've taken them, and I've included some of this, my favorite scriptures to go along with the book. I noticed that. And so some of these photos, as you said, are taken only in Nassau or all over the Bahamas? Quite honestly, I, it's, it's a combination of so many photos I've taken. I don't remember where I've taken so many Wow. Them, so <laughs> I would say the majority of them are taken in Nassau. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. The majority yeah. in Nassau. So, yeah. And what amazes me is the range of color, the range of patterns and shapes of the sea, of the cloud. I mean, as a photographer, what does it take to kind of capture that perfect moment of nature? Well, first of all, a lot of time is luck. Um, you know, right? It's, it's <laughs> luck because you have to basically, hopefully, the, you know, because photographers, we're all working, looking for light. Uh -huh. So you want perfect light. Mm -hmm. uh, once you have perfect light, you have to adjust your settings. What I do a lot of times in my photography, I try to slow down the shutter speed because I want to get that moving in the water. And so that gives this feeling of, of motion and the feeling of you being there. Uh -huh. So that's one of the things I really like to do. So how early would you have to be up or how late did you have to stay up at night to catch some of these Typically, photos? Because it seems like these are like wee hours of the yeah. morning. So uh, you have to get up about maybe 5 o'clock in the morning. Wow. You get up 5 o'clock in the morning, you wait for the sun. And what I do a lot of times, you can go online and there are certain apps you can use that let you know exactly where the sun is going to rise. Okay. And so you have to go, they have to track it, and you have to carry your stuff. You know, sometimes people look at me like I'm crazy, right? Because I get this big old um, bag on my uh -huh. back and I'll have um, um, the tripod and you have to go, then you just have to wait. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of waiting, I'd imagine. <laughs> yeah, on average, sometimes you can wait as much as an hour, sometimes two hours. Sometimes I've gone out there and I've waited and nothing happens. Wow. But it's, it's okay. I still love doing it, though. I mean, I still love being out in nature, seeing the sunrise. I mean, it's a beautiful way to start the day. Awesome. So talk to me about your photography career. I mean, how long have you been doing this? And how did you get to the point of putting together a book? Well, what really happened, my father was a photographer. Okay. And my mom, he basically took a lot of, uh, I would say, wedding you know, wedding photos. And as a child, I would help him. I would uh -huh. be behind him, running behind him. And he would say, Montez, get me this film, uh -huh. get me this. And I, would, and I would hand it to him. And he gave me a camera. And so it basically kind of sparked my interest. Awesome. And the thing I remember most of all, he gave me a little camera with the disposable flashes. I don't remember those back when they were shot film. Uh -huh. I would go around, <laughs> I'd be taking the shots. And you know, the, the flash would go off and you know, people say, stop doing that. <laughs> and then from then, I just kind of developed. I always like taking, taking pictures. So is landscape your preferred? Landscape is my preferred. Uh -huh. I, I, mean, I, I do portraits, um, but if I were to choose, I would definitely choose landscapes. You get to be more creative. Uh -huh. I mean, you, get to, you get to shoot what you, you get, you get to, how should I put it? You get to make an image. Mm. You know, a lot of times when you do a portrait, you know, you have your subject there. But with the with landscape photography, you get to really decide, you know, what aperture you're going to use, you know, when you're going to do this, this, this image left, you can do it right. I, I prefer, I really prefer landscapes. Awesome. And I, 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 I produced this in my air and I was just about to ask, your, fo your photo book is filled of the sun rising and setting and doing all, and our show, the Rising Sun Morning <laughs> Show, yeah. I mean, it kind of ties in, so it's kind of awesome that you're here. So if you were to go to this book and choose one photo for my lovely backdrop, which one would it be? And tell me why. Uh, <laughs> which page is it on, I should ask? I would say my favorite. <laughs> it's hard, this is like choosing a child. Kind of hard, right? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> kind of like choosing uh, your favorite child. <laughs> yeah. um, this one's I li nice. I like this one. Yeah, this Droplets of sunlight. Nice. And as you told me, all of your, um, I'm just sure this is one to call it droplets of sunlight. Mm -hmm. And as you said, all of your um, photos are accompanied by a scripture verse. Yeah, yeah. Why? Um, two things. It's um, when I when I first started um, working on the book, um, I, how should I say, it? my 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 youngest daughter, she had a health scare, and mm -hmm. um, at that particular time, I remember my wife and I, you know, we were really really worried. And uh, I mean, I, I really prayed and I reached out to God and I said, you know, God, I really need your help. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, luckily for her, you know, everything turned out all right. So I said when I, when I finish my book, I would not only dedicate my book to my photography, but I'd also dedicate my, my book, you know, back to God. Yeah. And so that's why I included a lot of the, the scriptures in there as well. Awesome. And were these, were these scriptures randomly chosen for each no. photo or do they literally kind of well, tell the story of what we're looking at? A lot of them are scriptures that I've used personally in my life. Uh -huh. And a lot of the scriptures also, I've heard my, like my mom in the morning, I'd wake up in the morning and I would hear her praying a lot of these psalms and reading okay. a lot of these scriptures. And so they became very personal to me. Nice. And I decided as homage to her to include them as well. 
Okay, awesome. Mm. And so Montez, if somebody just wants this book for a gift, a souvenir, for their coffee table, where can they find this? It's presently in Logos Bookstore. Okay, it's in Bible. Um, I think it's called the Bible Bookstore as well. And also it's on my website which is montescur.com. Uh -huh. You can go there and you can go to my website and it says book for sale and you can click and you can buy, purchase the book there. Awesome. All right. So I stopped right here on this one that says just breathe. So relaxing, so calming. I think this is one of my one of my favorites that I've seen while flipping through the book. Mm -hmm. So you guys, you can get A Journey in Color, The Horizons of the Bahamas by Montez L. Kerr and all those bookstores.